Communities across the U.S. continue to battle the opioid epidemic. Heartbreaking stories of addiction changing the lives of families every day. And new tonight, our Joe Paris shows us an Idaho story that may change the way you look at the epidemic. Growing up in Idaho, Tim Gainley always loved being outdoors. Skier and wakeboarder are my two things. Depending on the season, you could find him flying down Bogus Basin or gliding across Lucky Peak. I've been doing that since we got our first boat when I was probably seven, eight years old. Things started to change for Tim after a skiing crash during his freshman year of college. Long story short, it was, it was an awful experience, but that's where I started. Uh, I had sort of my first experience with prescription medications. After breaking his collarbone in the crash, Tim was prescribed a basic opioid to help him deal with the pain. It was the worst pain I've ever had in my life, absolutely. That pain continued for months as his collarbone didn't quite heal and again broke. Gainley was prescribed even more opioids, but soon enough, that prescription ran out. So my doctor stopped prescribing me it, and uh, I just kept finding it on my own because it was helping me, and uh, I, I liked the way it made me feel, really. And I was really struggling in school. Um, I was doing anything and everything to uh, support my habit, and uh, it was December 4th of 2012, I was arrested for my first time and charged with my first felony. It is a big issue here, and we have several deaths that have been related directly to opioid overdoses, opioid misuse. Our numbers track very closely and even a little bit higher than the rest of the country. Dr. Lee Binion is an emergency physician at St. Al's in Boise. Medic 15, medical one minute. Over the last decade, she has seen firsthand just how serious the opioid epidemic is. In the first six months of 2018 alone, she saw 130 deaths related to opioid overdoses. Every day. Every day. Every day. As pre-hospital providers. For the last several years, Dr. Binion has been leading the way in Idaho to fight the opioid epidemic with a new approach. She explains that fight starts with undoing decades of bad prescription writing. Physicians really never got taught about pain, pain management, addiction, addiction management, and so they're relying very heavily on information that they're getting from pharmaceutical companies. She believes that changing the conversation around opioid addiction could make a huge difference. So let's look at this in a different way. Let's look at harm reduction and let's look at everything that we can do in our community to reduce the harm that is related to the addictions while we try to treat the addiction. But it was far too late before I knew I had a problem. Tim Gainley's name may be familiar. Have you, you, didn't go, have you Googled me? He made headlines for stealing from the Boise State Bookstore. After his arrest, Gainley got clean for a time, but soon relapsed and focused on finding a cheaper option to pills to fill his addiction. When I went back to it, I went right into heroin. Um, it was much more inexpensive, much, much more potent. After years of running in and out of the legal system, Tim was eventually sentenced to a three-year minimum sentence in Idaho. There was nothing that was going to stop me from using. That's all I, I cared about at that point, you know. They say, well, you're addicted, you stole money, you're going to prison, and then they just sit there. I think the uh, access to treatment is probably a bigger issue because no one has access to treatment. While Tim's story serves as a major inspiration for change, for Dr. Binion, it's even more personal. Well, I had a light bulb moment because I thought that my kids were never going to be able to pull anything off on me because I knew the... I knew the ropes and they pulled it off on me. Dr. Binion is Tim's mom. She knew I had a problem before I did. As a heroin addict, he has stolen from me, he's stolen from his friends, he's stolen from other family members, from jobs, from work, from the university, and he's in prison. Having him in prison is just devastating. I hold a lot of guilt on myself for what I've caused her, um, what I've caused my family, what I've caused my friends. And it's really interesting all the research that's coming out. Tim takes full responsibility for his actions, while his mother, Dr. Binion, is taking on the responsibility of educating physicians. It has helped me in that I can share with them that story, and that makes me more believable to them. Tim understands why his mom uses his story to help others. And when he's released from prison, 
He hopes to work together with his mom to help other families. If I could say anything to anyone right now, it'd probably be the families. Um, that the support and love that they give is, goes a lot farther than they may think. Trying not to enable, yet be supportive, is a very fine line. And it, it takes a lot of failures before you get it right, and then maybe even then you don't get it right. I don't want people to go through what I have gone through. Joe Paris, Idaho's News Channel 7.